it's almost dark and it's uh, pretty boggy out here so haven't gone as far as I would have liked to tonight but um, this is where I'm going to have my camp got the series one there uh, might call this the shades of green campsite I think anyway I'm going to go and get set up get the fire going cut some more wood get the tent up This here is a barbecue I made up a couple of years ago and I haven't um, had the chance yet to use it. It's going a little bit rusty, I just gave a bit of a hit with the wire brush on the drill. I'll just show you, just got a couple of legs here. So the plan tonight is to use some old oil and um, just have a go at seasoning it up a bit, a little bit. Uh, you can use it just as is, but I'd like to just put a bit of oil on it. So I've just got a bit of old oil here some oil that I use for some deep frying so you even if it is rusty you can still cook straight on it the main thing is just that you might end up with a bit of a rusty flavor so I've just got it there sitting straight on the flames obviously you wouldn't cook like that but for the purpose of doing this that's perfectly fine so I'm gonna do that twice and then I'll get um, cooking just gonna head over and get my drink from the fridge. I've got it all seasoned up now, I've done it twice. It's got that nice black look that you would on a barbecue or a camp oven. I've got more than I need here, but just for the sake of it, cooking it up. That'll be my leftovers tomorrow, I might do a gaffle in the morning. See what it's like with a bit of onion capsicum and what, do a bit of cut up sausage and cheese. I'll take that off now and I'll get stuck into having some dinner. It's a bit later than I wanted, but it doesn't really matter when you're camping. Time doesn't matter. You don't look at a clock. So the sausages and uh, onion capsicum turned out pretty good. I'm just going to have a go now of doing a, a, a bit of camp oven cooking. I've got the Bidori uh, spun steel oven, camp oven. Um, I have used it a couple times. I really wish I got another one because the single handle here is an absolute pain in the butt. Um, but anyway, we'll go with it. I've just got a 22 centimeter um, spring form pan or whatever, like something you'd use for cheesecakes and that sort of stuff. And it sits in just uh, tightly enough that it actually sits on where the handle clips in. So it actually sits up a little bit we should allow, and there's still a gap around the outside, we should allow a bit of the heat to circulate without burning the bottom of it. So I've put a bit of oil in there, a little bit too much, but anyway, better off too much than not enough. And um, I'll put it on and we'll see how we go with it.
Just thought I'd talk a little bit about the vehicle that I was driving and camping in today. It's a 1950 light behind the grill 80 inch series one. It's not 100% original. Uh, the guards are off for a later series one and the grill's homemade. And there's a few other little bits and pieces as well. But it is all matching numbers. You would have noticed that it was blowing a little bit of smoke. Uh, the engine does need a bit of a tune up. So that's the next step in this vehicle's life. Go get the engine sorted and then I can start sorting out a few of the other things, getting it back more original than what it is at the moment. But I am quite lucky to have quite a, an original Series 1, especially with a light behind the grill, which is the first model of the 80 inches. Uh, they start in 48. And there's a few different things between 48, 49, 50. Anyway, I'll go grab the camera and I'll take you around for a closer look around the vehicle. So it's got three seats. These are the um, spade back seats, I think they're called. They changed the seats a few times in the early series ones. That's the instrument cluster, or instrument panel. It's got a push start button uh, just there and hand throttle. The early ones had a uh, ring pull to get it into four wheel drive. There's the handbrake, low, neutral and high range selector and just a four speed uh, gearbox. So the original ones did have a horn in the middle here. This one's not working at the moment. It's got a later model horn on it. Just the single wiper mode. I'm pretty sure that the wiper modes were all um, optional extras. Not much else really to say. The fuel tank's underneath the driver's seat and then there is a storage box underneath the passenger's seat. So it's 80 inch because that's the uh, wheelbase is 80 inch. They then went to an 86 and a 107 and then to 88 and 109s which they sort of kept all the way through the series until the 110s came. So there's not a lot of room in the back, not that I was needing to take a lot of gear so I've just put an ex-army storage case there and just put all the loose things in there. It's got three wheeling hubs, which was an optional extra. Otherwise it wouldn't have come with it from the factory. The early ones had the door handle just on the inside. So if you had a canvas top on it, the, um, there'd be a little flap here, which you just put hand through to unlock it. So the door goes right around and then you can actually just lift it off as well. So it doesn't take very long to pull one of these things apart. So the early series ones were lights behind the grill and then they went to lights through the grill and then had the sort of T-shaped grill as well with the lights on the side. The really early ones as well had a what we call fish plate chassis. The chassis at the front actually comes over the bumper bar. After that, the bumper bar actually went onto the chassis and bolted through. So these here are just to keep the bonnet down. These ones here for when you put the uh, windscreen down and it rests on these here. So this is the engine. The really early ones too had uh, lots of things stamped. So you've got their 849, lots of different things uh, on it stamped, rims. Uh, I'm pretty sure the coil as well. So you can see it's not 100% original in here. It's still the original engine. As I said, it's all matching numbers. Uh, it has a generator, not a um, alternator. But the uh, wiring and the fuel pump does need a bit of work. It's just got a, that's not connected at the moment. It's got another fuel pump near the tank. Yeah, otherwise it's, um, yeah, good to have something that's original. As I said, when I get the engine done, then I can start looking at doing electrics and touching a few other things up. Bit hard to read there, but it was sold through Grenville Motors. I've actually got the 
sale record uh, in a book there and it um, went to this one and another one both went to Gunnada in a tire shop and it stayed there I think the other one ended up getting wrecked and, but this one stayed there for about 20 30 years not touched until the previous owner bought it and then did it up I think he said he was about 80 when he did this one up so that's a pretty good effort for an 80 year old and I think he's done a few more since so there you have it with the windscreen down you can see how it just clips in like that just has these two uh, sort of hook clamps that go on here two of those and then fold it down you can see though how the wiper motor does stick up in the rear view mirror uh, as I said originally you didn't, didn't even have to have those 